26. The root mean square speed of H2 molecules at 25 degrees Celsius is about 1.6 kilometers per second. What is the root mean square speed of a N2 molecule at 25 degrees Celsius, the same temperature as the H2? Okie dokie. So if we have, um, if we're talking about a root mean square speed, right, that should be a unit that we should get familiar with. Root mean square speed is just a fancy way of saying the square root of speeds, right? The root mean square speed is represented by a U, and then usually it's an RMS. Now, generally, you're probably going to only, only use one formula with your root mean square speeds, and that's this formula right here. It looks very much like the diffusion um, formula, the rate of diffusion that we did uh, in the last section, but it's just manipulated a little bit. Now, they did say that we had two molecules here, H2 and N2, and that's what is labeled as A and B. It does not matter which one you label as A and which one you label as B. In our case, since they're asking for the root mean square speed of N2, and we're looking for, you know, one of the U's, that's the root mean square speed, I'm going to let A be the N2, because that's on the top, that's on the numerator, that's just going to make it easy for us to solve. So all the A's are going to be substituted with N2. Then we're going to link B as our H2, and if you did it the other way, and you go, you know, you run through the algebra, you will get the same answer. So it does not matter which way you go about this. Okay. So now, let's see. Well, they did tell us that the root mean square speed of the H2 molecule was 1.6. So I know this number. This, for the H2, has to be 1.6 kilometer per second. I'm trying to solve for the root mean square speed of N2, so I'm going to label that as X. And now, technically, I should know these two numbers. Well, MM stands for molar mass, the mass that's on the periodic table. So all we would have to find is what the molar mass of H2 is and what the molar mass of N2 is, and those would be these two numbers. So we got that. Maybe what I'll do, let's see. Mm, can't really move that over, but that's okay. Let's just see what H2 would be. Um, if we kind of go exact with H2, Maybe I'll put this up here. This would be like 2.016 grams per mole. And then if we do N2, 14.01 times 2, you get 28.02 grams per mole. And those are the numbers, remember, on the periodic table. So let's just plug it in. We have X divided by something, which will equal something else, right? And we have the square roots on both sides. The molar mass of N2 is the 28.02. When I do my math, I don't like to put in units because I know that I have the correct units. Just kind of gets a little messy for me. And there you go. Now it looks like a quick cross multiplication, right? X times this. And then we got the 1.6 times this. So let's go for it. We have x times the square root of 28.02 equals, I can just do 1.6 times the square root of 2.016. And at this point, since it's not the answer, I try not to round. And maybe I'll put that in blue just to you know, color code it, 2.27177, that should be good enough. And then, since you want x by itself, we're going to divide on both sides by the square root of the 28.02, right? So 28.02 
divide by 28.02, and that way this would cancel. Goodbye. We're left with now x, which is the root mean square speed, right, of n2. And then let's just do that number, 2.27177 divided by the square root of 28.02. And looks like they gave me two sig figs, so we'll give two sig figs back, 0 0.43. And since the root mean square speed for H2 is in kilometers per second, this also has to be in kilometers per second. And we are done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I just want to point out that this, you could double check yourself. Heavier molecules always should have a slower rate or a lower root mean square speed. So since H2 was lighter and it had 1.6, it makes sense that nitrogen, which weighs more, has a slower uh, speed. So that's a good way to check yourself. But anyway, hopefully this helped. Uh, if it did, please press the like button. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.